as far as revision is concerned, again, they have to identify the areas. For example, take something like polity. They must revise the important uh, articles. They must revise the important uh, Supreme Court judgments, amendments, and more importantly, the current events. If you look at uh, last year, our Abhyas, almost top 10 rankers last year in UPSC have taken our Abhyas. And all of them have done well in our test series also. You know, UPSC is looking for qualitative answers. That is where the structure of the answer becomes important, as you mentioned. You know, all those who are writing in the mains examination must have worked really hard. Hello, dear aspirants. I am Vishal Salsekar, and I welcome you all to this special conversational discussion regarding last 40 days preparation strategy. To discuss more about it, I am joined by Pavan Kumar sir, who is the faculty of Vision IAS. Welcome sir. Thank you. So sir, as roughly uh, less than 40 days remaining for the examination of UPSC CSE men's 2024. So uh, what should be the focus areas as of now for the students? If we look at the uh, last 10 years of uh, UPSC question papers, what is very much clear here is that to get into services, right. to get a good rank, and to get a good cadre also, three things are very important from main's point of view. First one is optional. In the last 10 years, if you look at the top 100 ranks, invariably, all of them have scored around 280 marks in optional. So the first condition is that they must focus on optional. Second one is ethics paper, ethics and essay. These three things are the most important part of their preparation for in the coming 40, 40 days. Yeah, right. And they have to make sure that in ethics and essay paper, they are scoring at least 120, 125 marks each. So, sir, as you have pointed regarding certain focus areas right now that students should be like aspiring for. So, now coming to certain areas which are needed for excelling in these particular papers, which are revision and answer writing practice. So, sir, what should an aspirant from now onwards doing for revision related aspects? At the same time, he or she is also able to do adequate answer writing practice. As far as revision is concerned, again, they have to identify the areas. For example, take something like polity. They must revise the important uh, articles. They must revise the important uh, Supreme Court judgments, amendments, and more importantly, the current events. If you look at again last 10 years, UPSC questions are centered around whatever the happenings that had taken place between June and September. So they must be really thorough with all those current events. In particular, and the last one year current events in general. So they should focus on current events, whether it's polity or economy or internal security or disaster management. All of them are current event based. Uh, they must have prepared already, already their uh, current event notes. Revise them at least four or five times. And the second one is answer writing, which is very, very important. Because uh, unless and until they complete the question papers, which is uh, what is needed through answer writing practice, they would not be able to get good marks. Okay. That is where answer writing becomes very important. Okay. So, sir, as you are discussing regarding answer writing practice, so I think here the role of test series, which is all India test series, at the same time Abhyas, which is a kind of like UPSC simulated examination, which is being conducted by Vision IS. So, I think this becomes also very crucial at this last juncture. So, how and how should be the student's strategy considering all these aspects? And uh, if you look at Abhyas, you know, uh, we are conducting this examination uh, almost uh, one month before the UPS examination. And that gives them the right kind of first ambi ambience because uh, uh, when they are you know, sitting in the classroom along with so many other students, it gives you the same examination feel and uh, they also can feel the same kind of pressure or uh, whatever uh, the experience that is needed. And the second thing is that the questions also, most of them are UPSC uh, related questions only. And if you are able to do well in Abhyas, there is every possibility that you will also be doing very well in uh, UPSC examination also. If you look at uh, last year our Abhyas, almost top 10 rankers last year in UPSC have taken our Abhyas and all of them have done well in our test series also. So we have seen also from the assessment mechanism that the kind of marks they were scoring either in test series or in Abhyas, kind of similar marks they have obtained even in the UPSC mains examination. And it gives them uh, so much of confidence also exactly. because they are getting very good marks here in Abhyas as well as in test series they can get that necessary confidence to do well in UPSC because the entire UPSC examination process is about confidence. Exactly. So, sir, I just want to, from my curiosity, I want to ask you that there may be certain students who might not be able to score at this juncture well in these particular 
examination, be it the All India Test Series or Abhyas. So, what that particular candidate should be doing? And that is also very important. If you are not able to do well in Abhyas, that means uh, you know you are getting one more opportunity. Right. It's just like you know before uh, you know entering to Olympics, you are you know participating in the trials, right. and these trials can be used by you uh, by you to identify your weaknesses right. and improve your performance so that you can do very well in Olympics. Right. In the same manner, you can take this abhyas, find out your weaknesses, because uh, this abhyas will be followed by in-depth discussions, right. and also you will be getting a very comprehensively evaluated answer sheets wherein you will get to know about your weaknesses, your strengths. That can be used. That is the reason why we are conducting this uh, one month before, so that you will have the necessary time also to rectify your mistakes. So, sir, as you are pointing regarding this value addition related aspects also, that aspirant should be doing in his or her answers. At the same time, we through our assessment mechanism also going to provide a lot of inputs in the same. So, coming to the answer writing enrichment by a candidate, because the content is needed, the current affairs integration is needed. Also, there are certain kind of examples as you have also pointed regarding the Supreme Court judgments. So, all these are the aspects that enriches the marks of an aspirant. So, what are these areas where the students can improve upon in the answer writing practice? You know, if we look at it, 60,000 students will be taking the mains, out of which only 75 of them will be getting into IAS. This year, IAS for general category stopped at 75th rank. So, that means it will almost 0.5 percent. What if this 0.5 percent of the candidates are doing differently from others? That is where answer writing becomes important. You know, UPSC is looking for qualitative answers. That is where the structure of the answer becomes important, as you mentioned. You know, all those who are writing in the mains examination must have worked really hard. But what is the difference between a person who is scoring 130 marks and other person scoring 80 marks? I will give you an example. Last year, if you take GS paper to Polity and Governance, average score was only 80-85 marks. And there are very few students who have scored above 120 marks. What is the difference? They made sure that their answers are qualitatively superior to others. How? You know, what did what they have done? Uh, most of the students commit the mistake of writing what aspect of the question. They never write the why aspect of the question. And that is where 90 percent of the students will not get marks. And that is what they have to do. They should always focus on why aspect of the question. I will just give you one example. If the question is about parliamentary committees, they will write everything about parliamentary committees, composition and everything. But that is not what UPSC is asking. Why do we need these parliamentary committees and why they are not effective? If they can focus on the why aspect along with better analysis supplemented by facts, automatically they can score good marks. Exactly. I think substantiation is the key Very to important. fetch better marks in the mains examination. right? Sir. So, sir, now as limited time is available, roughly less than 40 days remaining for the examination. And in this particular juncture, the time will be very less to include all these kind of aspects. So, I think the better time management will be the key for the last 40 days of the examination. So, can you suggest certain kind of strategy to ensure that a time management can become a very easy aspect for the students from now onwards? So, what they should be doing from now onwards? As you mentioned, it is not possible for them to revise the entire thing. It is beyond their... Uh, uh, you know, time uh, and uh, resource constraints. What they can do is that collect all the important facts, all the important facts, whether it is economy, polity, internal security, they also manage it. All uh, collect all of them and put them at one place. For example, if you are uh, talking about governor, collect the important facts about uh, the you know issues related to governors in the last one year. If you are talking about parliamentary functioning, collect the important facts. If you are talking about agriculture, collect the important facts, and. Uh, and uh, spend at least one week only on collecting important facts about all these uh, uh, you know, topics in uh, general studies. And that is the most important way of preparing for this examination. And towards the end, last one week of your preparation is only revising all those facts. So that when you go to the examination hall, you are not thinking about the answer. And that is what they can do. Exactly. So, I think at that particular point of time, if student will start recollecting each and everything from very scratch, it would be a bit difficult, difficult for them yes. to write the answers in 7 minutes or 11 minutes exactly. as we yeah. are saying. So, I think pre-prepared structure can be one of the ways. Very important. Yeah. And, and time management will be playing a very crucial role in the same. So, sir, my last question to you is regarding because we are seeing a lot of stress that is getting built up during the last phase of this particular examination. So, what will be your suggestion regarding the stress management and any kind of last piece of advice that you want to give to the aspirants? And Vision has uh, started a very good initiative in the month of April, wherein uh, uh, we are providing a free uh, stress management uh, uh, suggestions to the students through 
in a, this uh, stress uh, vigilance uh, stress cells that vigilance cells are there. You can always contact the students can always contact these cells at any point of time, and it will be provided. I'm sure uh, free of cost to all the uh, all the students, not only vision students, and they will give you all the necessary solutions because. Uh, we should never shy of uh, accepting our problems and getting the solutions also. This is where Vision is doing an incredible job of helping the students. And as far as uh, last minute time management is concerned, uh, what I would suggest is that uh, don't think about the, uh, the subjects or the information that you have not done because it gives you unnecessary stress. Revise whatever you have studied at least four or five times. And the best part of the main examination is that in spite of all the uncertainties, UPSC is focusing only on a very, uh, what you call specific areas. If you can identify those areas and focus on them and revising them with uh, in a more emphasis on answer writing. For example, take the case of ethics paper. Last year, students know most of the answers, but they could not complete the ethics paper because it was so comprehensive. And that is where answer writing becomes important. Make sure that you are completing the question papers, whether it is optional or GS. And of course, you know, the thing here is that after the uh, GS papers, they will have at least four or five days time exactly. for optional. Yes. Make sure that you are uh, constructively utilizing that time for optional. At this point of time, they can uh, uh, stop preparing for the optional. Okay. Uh, for the next 40 days, so they can focus more on uh, uh, GS papers, more on GS. more on GS papers. Maybe they can study optional for around 10% uh, of the time, okay. but rest of the time they should focus on GS papers. And in GS, uh, they should focus on collecting all the facts. For example, this year's economic survey has come out with so many good facts and what they can do is that they can collect and all those facts and put it one place, revise them at least four or five times. When they go to the examination hall, they are not looking for those facts. And once uh, they have those facts at their disposal, they can write a very uh, good analytical answers that will give them automatically success. And the uh, keeping peace of mind is very important. They must, uh, uh, you know, when you are thinking about the future, uh, future is uncertain, nobody knows what's going to happen. There are two ways of tackling the future. Either feel bad about it and get paranoid about the outcomes or feel good about it and have confidence about the outcomes. Second one is better. Uh, have conviction in yourself that you are definitely going to get into services. You will definitely get into services. Right. That's more important. So sir, thank you very much for motivating the aspirants and I think whatever strategy you have suggested is going to help aspirants in managing their time, managing the time efficiently also, ensuring better revision, ensuring better answer writing practice and eventually will come up with the thematic aspects that you are already suggesting and will be surely getting good marks in the mains examination. So thank you very much sir for joining us at this particular crucial time and thank you for giving your precious time also. Thank you for giving me opportunity also to interact with the students. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So with this, we came to an end to this particular conversational video regarding how to manage time effectively in last 40 days. So with this, we are concluding this session. For more such session, stay tuned with Vision IAS. Thank you.